Okay, we're going to take our rootless 251 voicings to the next level. You might remember that because it's rootless, our left hand started on the 7, or it could start on the 3. In this case, it was the 7. My root would be implied by either a stride piano D or a bass player. But essentially, I am not playing the root here. Yes, I am doubling the 1 up here in this voicing, but that's still a rootless voicing. So you might remember we had a 7-3-5-1-11 build, right? A five note voicing, very hip, with very minimal movement. This is my D minor chord, G7, C major seven. You might remember that these stayed the same the entire time. These common tones had different purposes in each chord. So in the 2-5-1, the D minor, this is a 5-1-11, the G7, this is a 9, 5, 1. On the C major 7, this becomes a 13, a 9, and a 5. But let's say we want to hit that up a little bit. Instead of just doing this, this is now in the key of B flat major. Can we make our dominant chord into an altered chord? Wow, how did I do that? Well, let's start from the beginning here and look at our D minor 7. Essentially, it's a D minor 11, right? Instead of keeping the common tones, I'm going to keep the top note the same. I'm still going to drop this bottom note to the 7, from the 7 to the 3. But let's take these two guys and bring them up a half step. Okay, what does that give us on a G7? So this is the D minor. Then we're going to go to a G7 altered. Essentially, this is a sharp 9, not a minor 3rd, because I have my natural third down here. A sharp nine and a flat 13. Some people like to say sharp five. I like to say flat 13. You get a nice upper structure here. And that still resolves to that original C major seven chord. So let's look at the difference of those. D minor seven with a normal G seven to a C major seven. Now let's hip it up by making that second chord an altered chord. All I do is bring these two guys up a half step. Everything else stays the same. Let's play that with a root. Left hand, G7. All right, that's a little bright up here. So let's go through whole steps. We're gonna go down, we're gonna pick up six keys going this way, okay? So I'll next, I'll make my major chord into a minor chord, so watch this. B flat major seven. I'm no longer going to play my bass line down here. Let's just stick to the chord. So now B flat minor seven to an E flat seven to an A flat major seven. Altered. Isn't that nice? Okay, A flat minor seven. Now we're in the key of G flat minor, major seven. Very easy. Once you find that first chord, very easy to get your bearings for the next part. This is G flat major seven. We're gonna convert that into an F sharp minor seven and harmonically, it's now, instead of G flat, we'll call that F sharp minor seven. To a B seven altered, right? Wow, very hip. E major seven, listen to how that sounds. E minor seven now. We're now in the key of D. A little low here, but. Let's try that with the root. B seven. Back to our original, but we're one octave lower now. Okay, so that's six keys, six out of your 12 keys in the circle of fifths. Let's start the whole cycle again. We'll, instead of starting in D minor seven, we'll start with a E flat minor seven. Okay, so we're actually doing a two, five, one in the key of D flat. Here we go. D flat major seven. Make that into a, a C sharp minor seven, two, five, one to B. Let's make that into a minor seven, B minor seven. Anybody know where we're going here? E seven altered to A major seven. Let's make that into a minor. D seven altered, where does that go? D is the five of G major seven. 
throw in a couple of roots just for fun. such a difference having that half step movement there. Let's do one more. Let's see what do we uh, make that an E flat minor 7. It's really an E flat minor 11 by the way. For those of you that are watching. Closely. That's D flat major 7. I'm back to my original key. Okay, let's just show you one more cool little trick. I'm going to take that middle key. I like that 2, 5, 1 and F. Okay, what did we have? We had a 2, we had a minor 11 chord, right? So we had, all right, there's our 11 on top, 7, 3, G7, G minor 7, C7 altered. Here's a cool little fact about the altered chords. You can actually um, put a tritone substitute on the 5 chord. Watch this. And this is conducive to a G flat 7 sharp 11. Same voicing there, guys. Check it out, everybody. All right, let's make that into a minor 7. Another try to substitute. Very minimal movement, but just enough to make it hip. I just went to the five on this case because I'm getting a little low. Let's make it a nice upper structure D flat major seven to end. We'll catch you next time with some even hipper voicings and upper structures. Have a great week.